Wordle is just the latest. Remember Sudoku or the craze over crossword puzzles? They're certainly fun to do, but studies have actually suggested this type of puzzle does have benefits. Can five letters a day keep your brain in play? Yes, if it takes little effort. My idea about those types of board games is if you enjoy them and they're giving you a challenge, so you can't do it on autopilot, you really need to think about it, then it's really serving you a good purpose in terms of supporting your brain health for life. Dr. Jessica Caldwell is a neuropsychologist for the Cleveland Clinic. She says there's no minimum time you need to spend solving word puzzles. What matters more is playing them on a regular basis. It also needs to provide a challenge. If a particular game becomes too easy, you need to switch it up. In order to keep your memory and your thinking sharp, the key is really challenge and learning. Those are the only ways that you're really actually exercising your brain. You're growing new neural pathways. You're supporting the old neural, pa neural pathways. So the key is that you can't just be busy. But what if you just don't enjoy Wordle? Well, Dr. Caldwell says there are plenty of other options. Any type of activity that challenges your thinking will work. For example, you could read a book or watch a documentary and then have an in-depth conversation about it with a friend. And it's not just mental gymnastics that matter. Exercise can help improve your brain health by increasing blood flow. One of the best exercises for your brain is dancing. That's because it literally requires you to think on your feet. And with partner dancing, there's a social aspect too. Now, to boost the benefit of word games, you can take each puzzle a step further. For example, if you don't know the meaning of the word will answer one day, look it up and try to use that word throughout the day. Or if the answer is something simple like snail, challenge yourself to try and draw a snail or find out how to say snail in other languages. It's about creating new neural pathways in your brain and making connections with the old ones. The more connections you make, the bigger the boost.